Participating in a One Health externship in Uganda, I worked with the team to assess tick burden in goats living in and around Queen Elizabeth National Park. We collected ticks from various locations of the goat, such as their head and their ears. But we also collected from the perineum to evaluate species diversity. I also had the opportunity to refine my venipuncture skills, using vacutainers to collect blood from the jugular vein for later evaluation of tick-borne diseases like anaplasmosis and babesiosis. Now with all those hours spent collecting data and commuting to and from our field sites, we were lucky to squeeze in some time for much needed naps. After completing data collection for the One Health project, I externed at the Uganda Wildlife Education Center. Here I enhanced my clinical skills with non-domestic species and broadened my knowledge of zoo medicine. Some of my tasks included vaccinating several cats against FVRCP and performing a necropsy on a bush diker that was attacked and killed by dogs in the nearby area. I also conducted fecal analyses on various species at the zoo to see what intestinal parasites are present. But since I wasn't able to observe each animal defecate before collecting samples, it was definitely a challenge to determine whether the parasite eggs were truly from the feces or contaminants or pseudoparasites from the environment. Among the various fecal analyses, we did find that the zoo's newly received but quarantined peafowls had overwhelming amounts of heterachus eggs. This prompted us to treat them with ivermectin before introducing them into the aviaries with the rest of the birds. Another quarantined animal retreated was the lethargic and anorexic Sidatunga. After it was darted and we got a closer look, we noticed how sunken his eyes were from dehydration, and we also saw how heavily infested he was with ticks. While building my research and clinical skills was an important goal of mine this summer, practicing to be an open-minded, positive, and constructive team member was just as crucial, because establishing excellent team rapport fosters your skill to work well with others, especially given the diverse cultures and multiple disciplines you're bound to encounter working in global health. I had such an amazing and unique summer and wanted to give special thanks to the Office for Global Programs, Silent Heroes Foundation, One Health Central and East Africa, International Development Research Center, Uganda Wildlife Education Center, and all the individuals who've mentored and helped me through this entire process. Thank you again for making my international experiences both enriching and extremely meaningful.